What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to your 29th Java tutorial, and I'm going to make a real quick tutorial this time by a request. I'm going to show you guys how to sum all the elements in your array, or to um, use all the elements in your array in any calculation. So let's go ahead, and in order to do that, the first thing we need is an array. So I'm going to name mine Bucky, as usual. Um, I'm going to make the uh, array initializer. So you don't need to uh, add the number, it'll do it for you. Uh, say you want to average the uh, ages of people. Um, go ahead and write however many elements you want in your array, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five people. These would be their ages or anything. Um, once you have an array, and I just use an object initializer, or excuse me, array initializer, go ahead and make a variable called a sum, or some variable you can use to keep your total of all your elements. And, and make sure to set it equal to zero, because that's what you want it to start out as. The next thing we need to do was, like last tutorial, we need to make a for loop. And this is going to loop through every element in the array. So of course, let's go ahead and make a counter variable. And since the first index of every array is zero, we want to start at zero. And then just do the little um, array length. So what's this? Bucky length. And this will give you the length of this array. That's the trick I told you guys how to do last time. And then go ahead and increment it by one. After this, and you don't really need these curly brackets since it's only one line, but you want to take the sum and you want to add um, the previous number to it. So let's go ahead and do that. And what this is going to do is take whatever the value is and add it to the sum. So first it's going to take 21 added to 0, 16 added to 21, 86 added to that, 21 added to that, 3 added to that. And it's going to go through and store all of these values added together in the variable sum. So then, once we have all that, all we have to do is output it on the screen. So let's go ahead and put system out print line or whatever print you feel like using. And then let's go ahead and write the sum of these might as well spell it like that numbers is and then let's go ahead and write our sum variable and this should be it hopefully it works there we go and let's go ahead and run this and if it works actually forgot to put space right there but the sum of these numbers is 147 right there and again it displayed it like that because I forgot to put a space right there and if I do it gives us our correct the sum of these numbers is 147 so that again um, to recap one last time go ahead and do your housekeeping like this what you do if you want to use all these numbers in calculation and again you don't have to get the sum you can multiply them together or anything like that just take a variable and just loop through your entire array using your for loop that I told you last time and use your little neat little math trick that I told you before to in this right here this will loop through each element in your array and get the value of it so that is how you use um, this neat little summing of the elements of an array trick to get the sum or any other calculation you want when looking at your array so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully now you know how to sum all the elements in your array. I hope to see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.